everybody I have a project to share with you for the piece by piece .com, and I'll have a link below to this to the website where you can find the store um, the blog and classes and all the info you need um, to get in touch with with Beverly and all her wonderful pro products um, so I made a layout this month and I made this on National Scrapbooking Day and I used the sketch over at onceuponasketch.blogspot.com and if you've done their sketches and challenges before you they always have some type of theme and you always have to have journaling so um, this month was numbers and I thought it was so perfect because I was already using these pictures in my planned um, layout that I was making but I didn't know how I wanted it sometimes I I need a sketch so I go on over there and um, see if they have one that I can um, see in my head that you know I want to create so um, anyways it just says you're two and she's turning two at the end of this month I cannot believe how fast the time went it's just crazy um, and so you have to have a number so here's my number and then journaling so here's my journaling I just um, so here you could see here I have a Prima resin piece and I had um, broke it in half and then I broke these little pieces off I did save the other piece but I I don't know where it is um, but I just thought that was cute to let's see where did it go um, just to add it right there on the little uh, clothespin and let's see I used a lot of Lindy's sprays and different mediums and um, to create this really fun texture and color background so I used some of this uh, spackling compound and it's just like the modeling paste molding paste um, let's see if I can get it. It's just cheaper. I th actually think I threw mine away because it was out. But um, it looks like that. It works perfectly fine. It does dry out a little bit on the edges. But it doesn't bother me. It's way cheaper than um, the other stuff. So um, let's see. So I used a Prima mask here. And then I don't know if it's going to show up. I think it does show up a little bit here. I used the mask, um, the hexagon mask, to just spray some um, Lindy's here. And I just scraped some of the, the spackle here and here. And I used some rub-ons here and there. And let's see, down here... I just created a really fun background and I used some tissue paper that I used this glue and seal. Um, let's see. It's my favorite. If I could find it. Uh, this glue and seal here. And it works really well um, for this type of thing. And then I just sprayed on top of it and I did spray some of um, like these uh, wings here, these appliques that you can get at uh, Bev's store. I sprayed those with some Lindy's and, um, and let's see. I used my Cameo to cut out these doilies here. So I cut it, um, one big one out and then I just cut it in half because in the sketch you got one kind of um, focal point here, down here, and then the main one here. So um, kind of wanted just to keep it kind of all flowing together. Um, and these leaves are cut out from my uh, cameo. And this one is also. And these gorgeous butterflies are cut out from my cameo too. I don't know if you guys can even see that. It's so intricate. It's so gorgeous and let's see 
So the flowers I used are Manor House Creation Flowers. Really pretty. I whitewashed them with some gesso, sprayed them with some Lindy's, and um, it just turned out so gorgeous. And this trim here, you can see here, right there, is the scallop trim. Really pretty. And then I layered this Venice lace on top. And then I kind of tucked back here some of that other lace. And then right here is a um, square that I just cut um, apart. And I have a little doily right here. And this is one of those um, Prima clocks. Uh, I just painted it with some uh, crackle paint. And this here is a, did I say this? Yes, one of the um, Prima resin pieces that I just broke in half and I put some butterflies on them with some pearls. And you can find the 10 millimeter pearls in Bev's shop. These are slightly smaller. I believe these are eight millimeters. Um, but um, 10 would have worked perfectly fine. Um, let's see what else. Oh, this, I don't know if you could see it, but I have one of the uh, Webster's pages, um, one of those frames, and I kind of whitewashed it with some gesso, put it back there, and then um, these wings, I already showed you those wings, and I used some of this glue and seal to kind of stiffen them up because I wanted them just to kind of have some flow to them. And, um, and I glued it up in certain parts so that it kind of looks like they're flowing. And the leaves are cut out from my cameo. You can see back here I have some more of that mask with the spackle. And um, these are cut from a trim, um, the floral trim. And like I said, I'll have all the links on my blog to all the items that I used from Beverly's store. So, um, and I sprayed them with some Lindy's. And let's see. I think that's it. This picture was taken uh, just a couple weeks ago. And I printed it on um, just regular cardstock. And because I, I forget who it was, but... Somebody had said a while ago that they like doing that because when they take pictures and stuff, there's no glare and you don't have to worry about, you know, getting fingerprints on your pictures or anything. And I think I love it. I love that idea because the picture just looks nice and it goes with the whole layout, I think. And let's see, let me turn it around. If I'm missing anything here. Um, these doilies you can cut out with a cameo or just so gorgeous as you could see here and here and butterflies and it says your two can't remember if I already said that um and let's see this paper is so pretty the colors and I did add a lot more pink and blue and a little bit of green um I think that's it um we were um, playing dress up one day she I had won a um, a tutu dress over on Facebook from Purple Orchid Boutique where I had ordered um, her uh, snow white dress for Halloween and um, I got her I could choose whatever one I wanted and I chose the Rapunzel because it was purple she loves purple so um, and we were just outside and, you know, I was taking pictures of the, of the kids, of course, and I just caught her and it's just, she's so pretty and she's just growing up so fast. So, um, that's the layout and, um, I think that's it. And I can't remember if I already said, I made this on National Scrapbooking Day. The only thing I was able to make, um that day I wasn't able to craft at all um, but that's okay because I spent it with her, with Abby 
Um, and let's see. Yeah. So more pictures on my blog. And, oops, it's upside down. There we go. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.